Hi, Shane. My name is Sean Everett from Zucker Marketing. Thank you for taking the time to talk with Eric. Uh, he promised you a website analysis. Here is your analysis. I'm going to be the guy doing it for you today. Um, now, uh, here is your website. It's a great website. A lot of things right. Um, it's uh, pretty straightforward. You have customer testimonials, which I like. Uh, you have a map, obviously. Um, you have a great logo and you have nice, great big printing that people can read. All great. Good color scheme, too. Um, but here I go onto the Google website and I'm going to type in Roofing Tuscaloosa. And as you can see, I don't find you guys near the top. And what I'd like to talk to you today is about how to get to the top because because people who are at the top of these lists or on the first page are the ones who are going to get more traffic. Now, more traffic means more people have been clicking on your website and therefore, you know, more clicks, more traffic means more customers, means more money. Uh, Google is the, you know, big gorilla in the room when it comes to search engines. So they're the ones that you want to um, sort of do best by. Now, they're, the way that things are listed in their search results is not random. Uh, they have a series of metrics that they use in order to um, uh, prioritize the, the listings. Uh, they are a company like any other, and they want their listings to be absolutely uh, relevant to the people who are doing the searches. And so they have a bunch of these metrics, and but those are knowable metrics. So what I'm going to show you today is how to get yourself to the top of these pages, because you are doing a lot of things right, I got to tell you. I looked at your, um, at your uh, we're using a tool that we have earlier. You were doing a lot of things right. Now, uh, the way that Google works. Now, here at the, usually at the top, there are some uh, paid advertisers too, people who have paid to have their uh, listings at the top. Um, one of them here is Premier. They're, they've paid, but um, for some reason, they're in, in what we call the map pack. Any of the companies that are on a map here, uh, it's a really great place to be because it's right at the top. Um, there are ways of getting on the map pack. And one of them is, and I don't know if you've done this, but filling out a Google business profile. A Google business profile is sort of like a profile on Facebook, except it's hosted by Google, obviously. And it contains all of your business information. And when I say all, I mean there is a lot of their information in there that they want you to fill out. Uh, a whole bunch of blanks that they want you to fill in. And it's like what year you started business, uh, what city uh, you're in, what areas you service. Um, there's other sorts of keywords like on-site services, online estimates, um, things of that nature. They're going to ask a lot of questions. Now, don't leave any of those blanks blank. Make sure that you fill in every single one of those if you're going to go off and do this. Easy for you to do by yourself, by the way. You can do this yourself. Go there and fill in all the blanks. Don't leave anything blank. If you're not sure what the answer is that they're looking for, just put something in um, that's relevant to your to your business. Um, below that are the what we call the organic searches. You can see Isabel Services, uh, Bama Roofing. Then there's a bunch of those uh, referral sites like Angie, GAF, the folks who make the roofing materials, this old house. Um, and then uh, Roofing Alabama, that comes way down after, after the questions. Um, I'm going to show you something really quick. Here is your website, and I'm going to cut and paste into a word counter. Here is your website by words. You have 589 words in your website. Um, and uh, that company that I talked about before, the Premier Roofing, I'm going to do the same thing to theirs. I'm going to copy and paste it into a word count. And there we go. You can see they have 922 versus your 589. Now in the word count, it's, um, it's a numbers game. If your com uh, biggest competitor has, you know, um, uh, a thousand words, you want a thousand one. Uh, that's how it goes. But for Google's purposes, they want you to have content. They want you to have 1500 words. So you are below that by almost a thousand words. Um, and words are not the same. They're not all, you don't want just a bunch of giddily goop in there. What you want is stuff that's relevant to your business, your, um, 
not just your company itself, but to the whole business, you know, that you have. Um, and uh, for instance, here I see that you're serving Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Montgomery, and surrounding communities. Don't leave and surrounding communities. List all the communities. You don't have to do it on the, the front page. For instance, I'll show you one way to do it. Um, let's see here. I'm going to use this photo that you have here. I'm going to click it to save it. And it will show me the name of this image. It is a great big long name that has no bearing on anything. But the Google search engine uh, actually looks at all of the code in your website. So you can rename this uh, photo to be um, one of the bedroom communities around you, uh, Alabama Roofer. Uh, that's how you could do that and, and add more content to your website. Um, at a thousand words, you're going to want to do more than that, though, obviously. Uh, maybe add something more into your um, uh, little chapters here. Um, I'm going to show you also a tool that we use. It's called Ahrefs. Um, it's one of the industry tools that we use. Now, these are numbers that are out of 100. You have 8 out of 100 on the strength of the website. And... Uh, that the, these are Google numbers, by the way, what Google uses. Uh, this is the uh, trust of the website, meaning um, we can trust the website this much. You have 14 out of 100. Um, organic keywords is where you are not doing well at all, and backlinks is where you're not doing well. And obviously, you can see it's reflected in your traffic. Now, uh, you are doing a lot of things right, like I said. You need to get your uh, content up. The, you need to get up to 1,500. You need to have more keywords. And I'm going to show you about keywords. Here's your website on that tool page again. Here are your organic keywords. Um, Bluefin Insurance, Bluefin. You have a lot of things that reference Bluefin and Tuscaloosa. And what you want to do is actually increase the number of keywords and key phrases in your content so that it becomes more relevant to a search. If you can begin to get this number here, uh, keywords, up from 24 and get them into, say, I've seen sites with a 1,000. And it's really easy to do because you just put in a lot of those, like I said, bedroom communities around you. You uh, specifically mentioned gutters and, and the process of gutters and the spacing of gutters. You put gutter spacing. Uh, I'm going to show you that your organic competitors here, here's just a list of them. Here's a, a, a one that I'm going to show you, the Restore Masters. They're a great big national company. Um, and they have, uh, let me do them into one of these lists here. For their keywords, they have <laughs> they have twenty two thousand six hundred and eighty six. Now, part of that is that they're a nationwide thing; and they list absolutely every city that they service, which is a lot. So, um, obviously, that's why theirs is going to be sky high. But they also have uh, things like fire damage repair, emergency roofing, uh, um, modified bitumen roof maybe that's an industry uh, term that i'm not aware of um but there's a lot of different permutations of uh, you know restore fire damage restoration uh, uh damaged as opposed to damage so if you can just keep putting more of those words in and all of the different like roofers roofing roofing company roofing companies everything that you change will will help because that is what people are typing in. And the more keywords that you have in there, the better you're going to have in terms of an opportunity for traffic. Um, I'm going to go back to the overview here. And uh, when you get the keywords up, you're going to have these increase as well. And, and these are metrics that Google is going to want to see go up in order for your website to start appearing at the top of their um, uh, search results. Now, uh, the other thing is backlinks. Backlinks are a, um, like, this is where you are referred to by other websites, the referring domains. You have, 
Uh, a respectable 50 domains refer back to you. Home Advisor, Expertise, Yellow Pages, This Old House. Um, I don't know if you're on Angie's list. I don't know if there's other places, but you, you know, if you look at all of the places that list you and your competitors, your competitors in particular, any place that they're listed that you're not, you want to be listed there. And, and it's just a question of going to those sites and including your information, putting your information into that site. Um, again, something you can do yourself. I won't tell you that it is easy because, well, typing is not hard, but there's a lot of information and it is time consuming. Um, so not hard, but time consuming. And that's where I think we can come in and help you. If, uh, if you'd like, you give Eric a call. He can talk to you about uh, saving you some time so that you can continue with roofing and we can continue helping you get your numbers up on these tools. Hey, thanks for watching.